The way to get rid of tension is to do just the opposite of all the things that cause it. Hello everyone, this is Hugo from Each Bomb Painting and today we're going to be looking at the Sideboard Miniature 28mm Science Fiction uh, Taurine Celtic Mech, mech Suit. Um, this kit retails normally at, at, at around 40 pounds, but it's available right now on the Painted Dragon online shop for 36 pounds. Overall, for the price, this is a crazy nice looking miniature. Um, and it's a really good alternative to a Contemplator Dreadnought for the Warhammer Fantasy, uh, not Fantasy, Warhammer 40k range. Uh, it comes supplied with a base and then after that you have the, the, the mech itself. It comes with a claw on one hand and a Gatling gun on, on the other hand. Um, let's look at the head first. Uh, here are the heads that you get. You get some kind of robotish uh, head, and then after that you get a normal guy's head, and you get a cover hatch for the top of the dreadnought. Uh, when we look at these head, if you can see from the picture here, this head is not really up to size in, compared to a normal uh, Warhammer 40k uh, person or character. Uh, it's a little bit out of the range so uh, cyborg miniature it, this is one of my first cyborg miniature that I actually get I ordered a shit ton of bases from them but I never got an actual miniature from them and a lot of people said they were off scale they were a little bit bigger than the normal uh, Warhammer 40k uh, standard 20, uh, 28 uh, mil uh, size but if you put the little robot head by the way that I don't think doesn't fit, fit the whole you know the whole thing really well it's kind of a different style compared to this you know overall look and uh, but if you put the little cap on top of it then there's no problem with that um, <clears throat> so this is what you get from the kit you get an extremely nice detailed base you get the heads uh, you get these plates that I, I haven't figured out where they go yet uh, you get the shoulder pads, and you get the main body, after that you get the legs, you get some kind of uh, <clears throat> a little thingy here, and then you get the arms on both sides. Um, there's a couple of issues with uh, this kit, <clears throat> so let's move on. Base, fantastic, no problem with that. Heads, no problem with that. Shoulder pads, or this thingy that I don't know what it does, no problem with them. Uh, the shoulder pads are incredibly nice, incredibly smooth, incredibly straight, so no problem with that here. A uh, little exhaust duct that with, which has enough center hole in it that I'm a little bit disappointed ab about it, but you know should have. If you're if you're if you're gonna put an off center uh, you know like hole on the thing, I would suggest that you don't put a hole at all. So then you let me do the job, but you know that's I guess shit happens right uh, for the claw arm no problem no mold line problems anything is fantastic on this arm <clears throat> the only there's a big mold line here as you can see in the picture and also there's a <clears throat> the stub here that's supposed to connect with the this is supposed to connect like this is a little bit like looks like somebody took a chewing gum and put it on top of the top of the model so I don't know what, what's up with that because everything else like detail wise everything else is stunning it's really really nicely detailed and really nicely molded but then you have that little mold line here which is normal and then you have that <coughs> chubby looking thing and you're like what the fuck is that this is a uh, off molding uh, the molding was off a little bit here so that's gonna require a little bit of work but not that bad but that is like what the fuck is that seriously did you take some chewing gum and stick it on it um, <clears throat> now we move on uh, for the little thing that goes there no problem with that too but moving on to the body that's where I found a couple of issues that I was a little bit disappointed with um, the issues are in the smooth parts in the smooth areas of this model it's not actually smooth it's a little bit bumpy and roughy the surface you know could have had a little bit more work uh, coming from the sculptor itself to make sure that these parts are really smooth and that match the overall detailing of the rest of the model because when you look at the detailing the detail parts of this model they look fantastic they look really nice all the areas that are supposed to be flat are super flat but then when you move on to this area here then you have a little bit of like not imperfection but a little bit of like orangey skin feeling to hit here 
then when you move on to this area here I don't know what the fuck happened here when they were sculpting it and after that they decided to mold it but there <clears throat> there seems to be a part here that actually the guy took and and stuck some green stuff last minute on there there's some actually there's some fingerprints here that that was imprinted on the green stuff and this part is not super smooth and it's actually not covering all so I don't know what happened here when it was you know when you were sculpting it I don't know if it's all the models or just this model that I got that has this problem but I was a little bit disappointed with that also with the leg fitting if you look at the leg fitting on this side it's pretty smooth like the arms here but on this side these ones I understand because that's where the mold line and the spur was but there was nothing here and it looks a little bit funky so uh, where the legs connect so that's that's a little bit you know off the game but overall still pretty stunning and then moving on to the legs the legs are beautifully detailed but again we have that kind of uh, mold line off mold line it's not just a straight mold line you, you, it's going to require some sanding on both legs here because they're not flush on this one it's pretty center so there's not really a problem going there but this one is pretty close from the detailing so it's going to be just a little bit more challenging uh, to uh, go and, and, and sand that bad boy another thing with the legs as you can see the legs come like this and they're not possible so if you would like to change the pause you would actually have to cut it and uh, <clears throat> the way the joint is made cutting it will require not just cutting it and refitting it but will actually require to cut it and and then after that do some green stuffing to make it look nice and and repause this so a lot of trouble for pretty much nothing but the pause is pretty static the only pause that you're going to be able to change on this guy will actually be the um, the harms and, and that's pretty much it so overall for uh, for the price and everything I think it's a stunning miniature I think it's worth the investment uh, if you're looking for an alternative to a contemplator dreadnought I don't think that this would uh, actually be uh, uh, could be an alternative to a standard dreadnought since it's so big as you can see as a comparison here I have an Empress Champion and you know the leg is higher than the, the Empress Champion by itself compared to a standard dreadnought that's just a little bit higher than a normal uh, miniature so overall I think it's a it's a great kit it's gonna be really fun to paint because the detailing work on this guy is really really nice um, this would mostly fit a uh, Space Wolf Army as it stands right now because it, it has that Celtic feeling, it has the fur uh, you know, on the legs, it has the fur on the, on the little uh, back of this plate, armor plating here, even the head that is supplied with it, the, the, the human head that is supplied with this model looks like a Space Wolfish. Um, so if you wanted it to and even the base has a wolf on it right so if you wanted probably to go ahead with this model and and, and you know do a, a more space normal space marine chapter not the space wolf chapter um, then you would actually have to do a couple of modifications you could leave it like that but it would be a little bit off team I think so it would have to actually uh, maybe remove those thingy that looks like um, uh, purity seals and replace them with normal purity seals there's there's a couple of things you will have to do oh, another thing I forgot to mention you know as you see with the legs the way they fit on the body there's no um, there's no um, room for the torso to be movable but anyway let's look at the model once it's it's co completely assembled so here we have it guys, you can see the completely assembled model, it's not, unfortunately, it's not me that assembled it, I still have to work on mine, but didn't want to wait like a couple of weeks for uh, for me to start assembling it and start working on it for showing it to you guys and wanted to, you know, be quick a little bit. So um, I hope you really enjoyed this video, uh, I hope you would consider this as an option for a, a contemplator dreadnought if you are interested in pur purchasing one because they do look really nice and I will see you on the next video cheers for watching guys